Going about our everyday lives, we use a lot of water for drinking, washing, cooking, going to the toilet and much more. By using this water, it becomes polluted. The wastewater we produce is known as sewage. Sewage not only comes from our homes, but is also produced by offices, shops, factories and other industries. Together with rainwater that runs off roofs and roads, sewage is washed, flushed or drained into sewers. The underground network of sewers that collect all this wastewater and transports it to the sewage works is known as the sewerage system, and the area it drains is the catchment area. Let's look now at the sewage treatment process. At the sewage treatment works, the incoming waste passes through screens which remove large pieces of debris such as plastic, paper and cloth. The liquid then flows through a number of channels which take out any grit washed in from roads. The sewage is then passed forward to large tanks. Here, fine particles sink to the bottom and form a sludge which is regularly removed and further treated. Here we use bacteria to clean up the liquid sewage. The bacteria help purify the liquid by actively feeding on it and turning most of it into carbon dioxide, water and nitrogen. In biological filters we encourage bacteria to grow in deep beds of irregularly shaped stones. Gaps between the stones circulate air which lets the bacteria breathe and thrive as the liquid passes through them. Either way, once the bacteria have done their work, the liquid goes into further settling tanks to to remove the remaining particles, leaving clean water to flow to the river or, if necessary, onward to further treatment. To meet increasingly stringent standards, the cleaned water is often put through a further filtration process.